Trivia for Kids, where it's not just for adults anymore. Hello, ladies and gents, boys and girls, and thank you for joining us for this week's episode of Trivia for Kids, the podcast. My name is Casey. My name is Quinn. And and this is episode 90-something. Yay! 98, and we will be your hosts on this magic carpet ride of a podcast this week. Excited to have you here. If you're joining us for the first time, thanks for coming. And if you're a regular listener, we are glad to have you back. Hey, Quinn, how's your week going? Tired. (laughs) Yeah? We had a big weekend last weekend, and then it was a full week of school, which you haven't had since Chris, well, since before Christmas. So yeah, you probably are pretty tired. What did we do last weekend? We went skiing. We did go skiing. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. It was Brooks's first time skiing. And so he got to do ski school. But you and Ren, you were seasoned pros by this point. You've gone, (laughs) was this your third time? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you guys were ready, and you were trying the jumps on the terrain park and all the things, making your mom just nervous. As a yeah, you were like, "Let's go to the train park." I was like, "Let's go back to the green slopes, please." <laughs> it was fun though. You guys had a great time, and Brooks liked it. So we will have to go again some yeah. sometime yes. next year, probably. Mm-hmm. Sort of a once a year thing that we do, but yeah. we do like it. So I was going to tell everybody I've still um, had some requests for birthday shout outs. And I, I'm so sorry that we're not doing them. However, we're going to bring them back for page for Patreon subscribers. So if you're a paid Patreon subscriber and you would like us to give you the hap hap happiest birthday shout out, you just tell us. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Patreon subscribers, birthday shout outs. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to be ready making up some new happy birthday songs. I can't wait. Happy 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 happy, happy birthday. Oh, we were on the same page. Oh man. That was just off the cuff. We're going to get some doozies. I can't wait. Ready for some jokes? Sure. All right. The first joke comes from Dylan. Thank you Dylan. Oh, post Christmas Santa joke. Here we go. Where do Santa's elves go to swim? North Pole. I don't know. The North Pool. Uh, don't go to the South Pool. That's where the penguins are. I want to swim. <laughs> no. I bet you wouldn't want. Have you ever seen the penguin water at a zoo? It is not clean. Oh, I, that. <laughs> I just want to swim with a penguin. It would be cool. All right. Joke number two comes from Aubrey. This is sort of a riddle slash joke. What kind of room has no doors? Uh, I'm not sure. A mushroom. Oh. Obby. Obby. All right. And our last joke comes from KJ. Thank you, KJ. What does a nosy pepper do? He gets jalapeno business. He gets jalapeno business. I love that joke. There are not enough jokes that contain the word jalapeno. I love it. Thank you guys for the jokes. All right. Are you ready to rumble? Dun 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 dun. Taking it back to the jock jams from when I was a kid. All right, let's go. Here's how the show works. Trivia for kids consists of five rounds with seven questions each. We will announce the answers at the end of each round. Each new round will have a different category. After the fifth round, we will have the final exam, which will test you on the toughest questions we have covered in the previous rounds. Everyone ready? Let's get started. Round number one, the category is cartoon cats. Question one, what is the name of the cat who is the arch nemesis of the Smurfs in the animated series, The Smurfs? Question two, what is the name of the clumsy cat who is always trying to catch Tweety Bird in the animated series, Looney Tunes? Question three, in Alice in Wonderland, what is the name of the cat who can appear and disappear at will?
Question four. In the Disney movie Aladdin, what is the name of the tiger who is Jasmine's companion? Question five. What is the name of the cartoon cat that can never quite seem to catch the mouse named Jerry? Question six. In what Disney Channel animated show do Ginny, Sparks, Buddy, and Bitsy turn into superheroes to help the people and pets of Kitty Dale? Question seven. What is the name of Winnie the Pooh's energetic, bouncy friend who claims he is the only one of his kind. And now the answers to round number one. Question one. What is the name of the cat who is the arch nemesis of the Smurfs in the animated series, The Smurfs? <laughs> oh, I haven't watched The Smurfs in years. Um, I want to say it's with a G. But I don't think that's right. Well, Gargamel is the name of the bad guy. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Gargamel's cat's name is Azriel. Oh. That's quite a name. That's a very, like, sinister-sounding name. So is Gargamel, though. Question two. What is the name of the clumsy cat who is always trying to catch Tweety Bird in animated series Looney Tunes? Sylvester? Yes, his name is Sylvester, and he's always trying to eat Tweety. Question three. In Alice in Wonderland, what is the name of the cat who can appear and disappear at will? The Cheshire Cat. The Cheshire Cat is right, and he has a very big smile. smile. It's kind of creepy. He's got a lot of teeth, and his smile goes bigger than it should. And he's striped, like purple and blue, striped. Kind of cool. That that movie is kind of crazy. Question four. In the Disney movie Aladdin, what is the name of the tiger who is Jasmine's companion? Raja. Raja is the name of it. Wouldn't that be cool to have a pet tiger? I don't know. That would be really cool, but you guys would never... You, got, well, you don't even let me have a pet besides a fish. Could you imagine how much a tiger would eat? A lot is the answer. Question five. What is the name of the cartoon cat that can never quite seem to catch the mouse named Jerry? Tom. Yep. From Tom and Jerry. That's supposed to be like Tomcat? Probably. That's probably where it came from. That poor cat. He has to be on like his millionth life because he really gets destroyed in about every episode of that cartoon. Question six. In what Disney Channel animated show do Ginny, Sparks, Buddy, and Bitsy turn into superheroes to help the people and pets of Kitty Dale? Super catchies. Oh, I know this because when my uh, three-year-old cousin comes over, she watches that at our house. And she's so cute. And Super Kitties is so cute. There's yeah. cute little kitties. Anyway, the answer is Super Kitties. Kind of like the Paw Patrol, except cats. Cute. And superheroes. Kind of kind of similar, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Question seven. What is the name of Winnie the Pooh's energetic, bouncy friend who claims he is the only one of his kind? Tigger. That is correct. So there's a song that he sings that's like, um, the wonderful thing about Tiggers is that I'm the only one. So he's saying there's only one of only one Tigger. And he bounces on his tail. And he says, Yoo hoo hoo hoo. No, that was terrible. How does he say that? If I had a tail, I couldn't bounce on it like a kangaroo or like Tigger. I'd, I'd break it. It would shatter. His tail must be made out of springs instead of bones. <laughs> Round number two. The category is soccer. Question one. How many players are on the field for each team in a standard soccer match? Question two. What is the maximum number of substitutions a team can make in a soccer match? (laughs) 
Question three. What is the name of the tournament held every four years where national teams compete for the world title? Question four. What is the term for a situation where a player scores three goals in a single game? Question five. What country is soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo from? Question six. As of the 2023 season, how many teams are in the MLS, which is the Men's Professional Soccer League in the United States? Question seven. Which player holds the record for the most goals in a single calendar year? Scoring 91 goals in 2012. And now the answers to round numero dos. Question one. How many players are on the field for each team in a standard soccer match? Six, including the goalie. The answer is 11. Seems that seems like a lot of people. No, it has to be. I would think including. So, is there three defenders, three uh, oh, offenders, <laughs> three people on offense, three in the middle, three midfielders, and goalie? That's ten. Where's the eleventh one? I don't know. Question two: In soccer, what is the maximum number of substitutions a team can make in a standard match? Trick question: As many as possible. Ooh, good guess, but the answer is five. So that means six of those 11 players better be ready to play that whole game. Question three, what is the name of the tournament held every four years where national teams compete for the world title? World Cup. The FIFA World Cup. That is correct. Bonus question. Where was the last FIFA World Cup held? I think like last year or the year before. Men's, not women's. Antarctica. It was in Qatar. Oh, I think he said Qatar. I think it's pronounced Qatar. Q A T A R. I think it's Qatar. 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 Guitar. <laughs> One of the we you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Question four. What is the term for a situation where a player scores three goals in a single game? Hat trick? It is a hat trick. I wonder if they throw their hats on the soccer field like they do in hockey. I was going to say, I bet it's not that because that's normally just a hockey term. But hey, I was right. You were right. I didn't realize that you could have a hat trick in soccer too. Question five. What country is soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo from? Argentina is from where Messi is Messi from. Messi is from Argentina. I need to know Ronaldo, please. America. No. Uh, b- 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 Mexico. He is from Portugal. Yep. Oh. Question six. As of the 2023 season, how many teams are in the MLS, which is professional soccer in the U.S.? I'm going to say seven. There are 29 teams. I was going to get 17 and I was like, no. And then I was like, You know what? Let's just go with seven. 29 teams. 26 of them are in the United States and three are in Canada as of the 2023 season. You were a little short. I'm a little short in height. (laughs) You're a little short. Anyway, there is one team we were going to go see that's relatively close to where we live. That plays in Minnesota and they have a really cool mascot. Do you know what they are? No. The Minnesota Loons. You didn't tell me that. Yeah. Are they just as Bugs Bunny? No, a loon is the Minnesota State Bird. It's like a black duck kind of looking thing. Like Daffy Duck? No. Question seven. Which player holds the record for the most goals in a single calendar year, scoring 91 goals in 2012? Messi. It is! 
We would say his name in America as Lionel, but I think it's like, Leonel. yeah, I think it's like Lionel. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. And I think he plays for Miami. I think he plays for the MLS team in Miami. I'm pretty sure. Messi does? Yeah. And their colors are pink and black. So he wears a pink jersey in Miami. It is cool. Messi does not play in the USA. Yes, he does. Since when? I don't know. A couple years. I didn't realize you were such a messy fan. No, I just know a little bit about him. Okay. Round three. The category is mythical creatures. Question one. What mythical creature is often depicted as a horse with a single spiraled horn projecting from its forehead? Question two. According to folklore, what mythical creature is said to lure in sailors with their enchanting songs and cause shipwrecks? Question three. What mythical bird is said to rise from its ashes after death? Question four. In Egyptian mythology, what creature is a mythical lion with the head of a pharaoh? Question five. What legendary creature is said to be a horse with wings, allowing it to fly? Question six. What mythical creature is a giant humanoid creature with the body of a man and the head of a bull? A minotaur, a centaur, or a fawn? Question seven. In Norse mythology, what creature is a powerful, shape-shifting being that can assume the form of different animals? Here's a hint. Thor's brother would definitely get this one right. And now, the mythical, magical answers to round number three. Question one. What mythical creature is often depicted as a horse with a single spiraled horn projecting from its forehead? Unicorn! I wish unicorns were real. They would be so cool. But we have unicorns of the sea, which are... Narwhals! Narwhals! And you know what I learned from Wildcrats? Some of them can have two horns. Yeah, some of them can have two horns. They are very rare, but... Very rare. But it is possible to have a two-horned narwhal. Maybe that'll be a question in a future podcast. Question two. According to folklore, what mythical creature is said to lure in sailors with their enchanting songs and cause shipwrecks? Sirens. Yeah, mermaids are sirens. I was going to say mermaids, but I was like, is she looking for a more specific answer? Yeah, sirens with their magical voices and they lure... I'm pretty sure that wouldn't work. Question three. What mythical bird is said to rise from its ashes after death? Think Harry Potter. The phoenix. It is the phoenix rises from its ashes. So does that mean it's immortal? Yeah. Probably. Question four. In Egyptian mythology, what creature is a mythical lion with the head of a pharaoh? The sphinx? Yes, a sphinx. Isn't that just like a statue or is that like an actual like mythical creature? Yeah, I think it's a mythical creature that they made a big old statue after. Question five. What legendary creature is said to be a horse with wings, allowing it to fly? Pegasus. It is a Pegasus. Yes. And I think the horse's or I think the Pegasus's name in Hercules was Pegasus. (laughs) Yeah. It should have been Peg. Like Meg. Peg and Meg. 
the Pegasus and Megara. Wasn't her name Megara? Megara, Megali. Um, it would be cooler to have a Pegasus than it would to be a unicorn. It would be cooler to have a Pegasus. I agree. What if you had a Pegasus unicorn? <gasps> like the My Little Pony Girl. Oh, yeah, that's true. Question four. What mythical creature is a giant humanoid creature with a body of a man and the head of a bull? A minotaur, a centaur, or a fawn? A minotaur. That is correct. A minotaur is a man with a bull head. A centaur is a man... Man with a horse body. Bull. Yeah, like waist up man, front and back legs horse. And a fawn is like Mr. Tumnus, Tumnus. from... Uh, Lion, Narnia. Mr. Norbor. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Question seven. In Norse mythology, what creature is a powerful, shape-shifting being that can assume the form of different animals? Here's a hint. Thor's brother would not get this one wrong. Loki. Loki! That is correct, which is also the name of Thor's brother. Round four. The category is Asia. Question one. As of 2023, the tallest building in the world is called the Burj Khalifa and is located in the city of Dubai in what Asian country? Question two. The Komodo dragon, the world's largest lizard, is native to which country? Thailand, Indonesia, or Vietnam? Question three. What is the name of the famous mountain range that includes the highest peak in the world, Mount Everest? Question four. The city of Bangkok is the capital of which country? Question five. What big wall in China was built a long time ago to keep invaders away? Question six. What is the capital city of Japan known for its high-tech gadgets and traditional tea ceremonies? Question seven. What Southeast Asian country has very unique rules like you cannot chew gum, you cannot annoy others with a musical instrument or singing in public. You cannot connect to someone else's Wi-Fi. You cannot smoke in public. You must flush the toilet and there is no littering. Round four answers. Question one. As of 2023, the tallest building in the world is called the Burj Khalifa and is located in the city of Dubai in what Asian country? Japan. The answer is UAE or the United Arab Emirates. Have you heard of that before? Nope. Never. Never. Have you heard of Dubai? Yes. Yes. It's in UAE, United Arab Emirates. The 2,717-foot-high skyscraper is located in Dubai and houses apartments, offices, and hotel rooms, as well as the world's highest restaurant and the world's highest viewing platform. I want to go there, but I want to get, like, a middle floor. I don't want to get the top floor. That would be horrifying. I wonder how many, how many floors there are, like how high the elevator has to go to get to the top floor. You think they can, see, like, their cloud level? Um, uh, probably not. Well, probably not. maybe if there's a low cloud ceiling on that day. 
Question two. The Komodo dragon, the world's largest lizard, is native to which country? Thailand, Indonesia, or Vietnam? Oh, no, my mind is screaming Vietnam, so... The answer is Indonesia. These wild dragons typically weigh about 154 pounds or 70 kilograms. But the largest verified specimen reached a length of 10.3 feet, 3.13 meters, and weighed 366 pounds, 166 kilograms. 366 pound lizard? No, thank you. That's insane. Question three, what is the name of the famous mountain range that includes the highest peak in the world, Mount Everest? <sighs> if I gave you a hint um, that was Monsters, Inc., would that help? Uh, Himalaya! <laughs> Welcome to the Himalayas! Uh, it did help! Good! Question four, the city of Bangkok is the capital of which country? Is it Japan? The answer is Thailand. <laughs> You're welcome. Question five. What is the big wall in China that was built a long time ago to keep invaders away? The Great Wall of China? That's it. <laughs> Wasn't a trick question. The total length of all the sections of the Great Wall of China ever built adds up to about 2,196 kilometers or 13,171 miles, including overlapping sections that were rebuilt. I never would have thought it was that long. Me neither. That would take forever. To- that is a big wall. I mean, it is tall and long. Like, yeah. it's not just a little tiny, like, fence you could step over. It's a legit great wall. So yeah, legit. legit. Question six. What is the capital city of Japan known for its high-tech gadgets and traditional tea ceremonies? Tokyo. Correct. Tokyo, Japan. You remember San Francisco from Big Hero 6? Oh, San Francisco. That's what the city uh-huh. is. Oh, San Francisco. I like it. Question seven. What Southeast Asian country has very unique rules like you cannot chew gum, You cannot annoy others with a musical instrument or singing in public. You cannot connect to someone else's Wi-Fi. There is no smoking in public. You can get in trouble for not flushing the toilet. And there is no littering. I feel like I know, but I feel like I don't know. Is that a good answer? That is not an answer at all. Japan Japan is your answer for everything. The answer is Singapore. I knew that. Did you? A big part of Singapore's cleanliness comes from its strict rules. For instance, by most certainly being the only place in the world that has a specific legislation against not flushing toilets, officials actually conduct random checks in public toilets to make sure people flush after they go. If you are caught leaving an unflushed toilet, you will face a monetary fine. I don't hate that. I don't I don't want to find an unflushed toilet. That's nasty. Yeah. And I think Singapore is like meticulously clean. Round number five. The category is books. Question one. In the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, what is the name of the main character who writes in his diary? Question two. How many founding members are there in the Babysitter's Club? Question three. In the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory series, what is the name of the unique chocolate maker? Question four. What is the name of the cat who is the main character and founder of the Cat Kid Comic Club? Question five. 
Who wrote the Little House on the Prairie series? Question six. In the Nancy Drew mystery series, what is Nancy Drew's job? Question seven. In the Hunger Games series, what is the name of the brave protagonist who volunteers for her sister in the Hunger Games? And now the round number five answers. Question one. In the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, what is the name of the main character who writes in his diary? Greg Heffley. Good old Greg Heffley. Just trying to find his way in middle school or upper elementary school. And making in upper elementary. And making fun of his best friend. Yeah, he's not nice to Rowley. I'm not a fan of that. Question two. How many founding members are there in the Babysitter's Club? Four. There were four people at first. Can you name them? Christy, Claudia, Stacy, Marianne. It's basically literally what I wrote. Four. Christy, Marianne, Claudia, and Stacy are best friends and the founding members of the Babysitter's <laughs> Club. Like, you read that verbatim. That's impressive. Or said it. Question three. In... Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what is the name of the unique chocolate maker? The Willy Wonka thingy. Uh, his name is Willy Wonka. I guess I will give you credit. The Willy Wonka thingy. Hmm. Okay, girl. Maybe it's time for bed. It was Willy Wonka. That's his name. That's the restaurant's name? No, I'm looking for the chocolate maker's name. The guy. I thought you were looking for the chocolate factory's name. Oh, my word. <laughs> You're like slap happy. <sighs> Question four. What is the name of the cat who is the main character and founder of the Cat Kid Comic Club? Everly. Everly. <laughs> no, the cat's name is Lil Petey. Oh, Lil Petey. Question five. Who wrote the Little House on the Prairie series? Oh, I want to say her name is Mary, but I want to say... What is it? Uh, I wanna... Her sister's name was Mary. Her name was Laura Ingalls Wilder. Laura Ingalls Wilder. And she lived kind of by where we live. Her and her family were in South Dakota for a while. They were in Minnesota for a while. They were kind of in this general region of the world. Question six. In the Nancy Drew mystery series, what is Nancy Drew's job? Detective. She's a detective. Yep. I would think being a detective would be fun. It would be cool. Challenging, scary, sad, but very interesting. And lots of fingerprints. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Question seven. In the Hunger Games series, what is the name of the brave protagonist who volunteers for her sister in the Hunger Games? Katniss Everdeen. Katniss Everdeen. You just read this book for school. Mm-hmm. It's a really good one. Did you like it? I've only seen the movies. I didn't read the books. It's really good. I haven't I haven't even started on the like the Hunger Game part. They're like, they're like before the Hunger Games right now. Oh, well, we'll have to watch the movie. It is intense. Ooh, let's go. And now it's time for the final exam. Now, remember, you've heard these questions in the previous rounds, but these were the hardest ones we've had. So use your memory and try to think back to what the answers are. Question one, what is the name of the cat who is the arch nemesis of the Smurfs in the animated series, The Smurfs? Osriel. Question two, what country is soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo from? Portugal. Question three. The city of Bangkok is the capital of which country? 
Thailand. Question four. What mythical creature is a giant humanoid creature with the body of a man and the head of a bull? The Minotaur. Question five. As of 2023, the tallest building in the world is located in the city of Dubai in what Asian country? UAE or the United Arab Emirates. Question six. Who wrote the Little House on the Prairie series? Laura Ingalls Wilder. Question seven. The Komodo dragon, the world's largest lizard, is native to which country? Indonesia. And that is the end, which means here come your shout outs. Cartoon Cats comes from listener Arden. Thank you, Arden. Southeast Asia comes from Amadeus. Thank you. Soccer comes from Benjamin. Thank you, Benjamin. Soccer also comes from KJ. Thank you, KJ. Mythical Creatures comes from Emma. Thanks, Emma. Mermaids comes from Kinsley. Thank you, Kinsley. The Babysitter's Club comes from Olivia. You rock, Olivia. And the Cat Kid Comic Club comes from Eli. Thanks, Eli. All right, Quinn. Convo starter. What always makes you laugh, even when you're upset? Your funny voice. I was just going to say that. Earlier today, you were in a terrible mood, and I was like, Corona, oh, Corona Bear, you need to be happy and not sad. And then you were like, put your head on the counter because you were so mad, but then you were trying not to laugh because I was so funny. I was so good. You love it. What does that sound like? Like, if you had to... That's not bad. You're a little spittier than mine. You got a little more... You have, like, the Daffy Duck version of my... You have the Daffy Duck version of mine. I don't even know what I would say this voice sounds like. I don't know what it is. Oh, you can do it! It's not really. That's really good! <laughs> not really. We should try to do the whole podcast in this voice. They would hate it. They wouldn't be able to understand. No, they wouldn't be able to understand. All right. Oh, man. If you're still listening, we're sorry. But thank you for listening. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can see all of our new videos. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Trivia for Kids Podcast. Or you can email us at Trivia for Kids Podcast at gmail.com.